Next up on Man vs. Pixels, I've been playing Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi Fallen Order is a third person action game developed by Respawn, published by EA. It was out uh, late 2019, November 2019. Uh, full price $54.99, which is a bit of a sting. Don't know what that extra five is for. Uh, Star Wars tax, I guess. Um, but I picked it up when it was discounted by about 20 quid for about 34.99, which is uh, uh, thoroughly more reasonable. So let's get into it. Um, what can I say? Uh, I didn't really like anything about this game, to be honest. Uh, three main components to it: sort of parkour, platforming. Um, puzzle solving and combat none of which were, were very much fun or at least I didn't find them very much fun um, most of the time you spend running jumping swinging wall running and puzzle solving uh, 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 during these sections of the game you might as well be playing Tomb Raider because that's what it is um, you're, the character you're playing might as well be Lara Croft with a lightsaber because it's pretty much not a Star Wars game during all those sections um, you wouldn't be able to tell it was if you you know just saw some gameplay of those sections you wouldn't know it was a Star Wars game you'd think oh it's Tomb Raider with some weird looking guy in a, a funny poncho and ginger hair <laughs> you think oh Lara's let it gone bad Lara's transitioned or something but uh, no those sections weren't much good weren't much fun um, traversing the environment as well uh, while you're doing that moving from one spot in the environment to another you might as well be playing Dark Souls because they use the same sort of campfire save system uh, where you save you, you you sort of meditate at these circles and that replenishes your health and your uh, health flasks your stims and also but also respawns all the enemies in, on the map and uh, then and banks your XP that you've earned up to then because if you die you lose the XP that you've earned since your last meditation and you've got to make it back to the mob that killed you and uh, damage them to regain your XP after you've died. Now this is just it's just blatant imitation there's no originality to it they haven't put their own spin on it or anything like that it's just blatant imitation and my question is why? why do that in a Star Wars game you know the amount of resources that a Star Wars game gets probably more resources than any other game franchise out there gets thrown at Star Wars games by EA because they know they sell themselves pretty much um, why are you imitating why are you copying two other games two other popular and successful games why are you copying them to such an extent in a Star Wars game when you could quite easily do your own thing you've got the money for it you've got the resources the time the team that you know hundreds of people developing this game to come up with something of your own yet you just blatantly imitate two other games in massive chunks of what the gameplay is this is a Star Wars game and it doesn't for those parts of it it doesn't feel like it. it might as well not be now the third component of this the combat this could save it uh, all the, the the stuff that's come before it could be saved if the combat was good but but no not in my opinion um, I found the combat to be clunky uh, there's no rhythm or flow to it you're constantly getting stuck in fixed animations every time you wanted to heal you have to go for a little half second animation which leaves you vulnerable and it actually tells you in like the death screen after you die in combat to try using your force slow time ability while you before you heal to give you a chance to heal and I'm like why why make it like that 
It's just like, if I need to, I don't want to be using force powers just so I can heal. I'd rather use the force powers to do something cool, like choking enemies, shoving enemies all over the map, and pulling enemies off cliffs and stuff, which you can do, but you only get so much force resource to use, and you don't want to be using it to actually prep your healing. You know, when you heal, it should be instant. You know, well, at least in my opinion, if for a good combat system, the heal should be instant or near. You shouldn't be stuck. And quite a lot of the times, you'll get like knocked down or staggered by an enemy, and the animation to get up or recover from that is long enough so that you can get hit again, either by the same enemy or a different one, and you can end up getting hit several times before you actually recover from the knockdown. And that's really annoying too and that like I say that breaks up the flow of the combat sure you could say you should dodge or parry to to avoid getting these knockdowns and that but when you're surrounded by enemies you've got like three or four hitting you you're, you're gonna take some hits like very few people have got the uh, the skills to go through a, a combat like that without taking a single hit and just getting stuck in those little uh, stagger and knockdown animations is a is a real no, it's a real bummer, you know. It just, let's say, breaks up all your moves. You, it's really hard to string any sort of moves together in the combat. You get one hit, maybe two hits, and then you get blocked, or then you get pushed by another enemy. Like I said, the combat has just got no flow or rhythm to it. It's, uh, it's massively unsatisfying. But even if you found the combat satisfying, if it was your thing, if you maybe got the hang of it, better than I did and you got into more of a, a, a rhythm with it then I just don't think it can still save it because there's so little of it the combat is so little so spaced out and what combat you get is just over so quickly like usually you're doing loads of parkour loads of wall running and swinging on ropes and stuff to get from you know around the map and then you come across a little group of stormtroopers, maybe three, four stormtroopers, uh, or, or creatures in, in, in the game. And you have a little fight, it's over in 30 seconds. And then you do a load more parkour, wall running. Then you get a, a load of puzzle solving you have to do. And then you get another little group of stormtroopers, or maybe one harder, tougher stormtrooper that's like a fight on its own. But it's so spread out, it's not like a nice constant badass sort of way of hacking your way through the level no most of the time you're wall running and swinging your way through a level with a bit of combat in between rather than hacking and slashing your way through a level and doing the wall running and that's just to progress to maybe to another section so i think even if you like the combat i don't think there's enough of it to keep you interested so yeah that's that's all three of the main components the combat the puzzle solving the parkour and platforming all fail in my opinion just uh they're just not fun and un they're unsatisfying other little dislikes niggles which again you could overlook some of these if the rest of the gameplay was good but i didn't like the character that you played your um your jedi or your Padawan, who's been like uh, deserted by his master. Uh, again, didn't like him. Didn't like the way he looked. Didn't like it the way he talked. Didn't like the voice lines. Uh, <laughs> no, didn't like it at all. Uh, other things in it, like every time you search a chest to find stuff, you've got a little robot that goes with you all the time. BD1, they call him. So it's, right, it's just a robot. It's just a droid but he's like goes around with you and he does stuff like open doors for you and shit like that um, and when you find a chest it's he opens the chest but he goes through the same and instead of just searching the chest and telling you what you've got you know press E search the chest oh this is what's in it pick it up go he goes through this little sort of second long animation of the, the robot jumping off going into the chest and the same voice line it's all like, oh, bd1 what did you find oh what's this here bd1 and then again the robot will find stuff to scan around the map that just gives you like a bit of flavor 
information, background information, but again, it's the same. Oh, what have you found there, BD1? Oh, what's that? Same repetitive voice lines, same repetitive animations. Um, repeat visits to the same planets as well. You start off on a planet, you do a bit of stuff, the intro and that, and then you fly off in a ship, and uh, then you can sort of, it looks like you've got a navigation table, you can pick, like there's a next planet to go to for the main story, and another planet to go to for some side stuff. And you can pick, and you think, oh, this looks all right, I'm going to be able to pick, you know, planets to go to around the galaxy and that, but, you know, by the by the third mission, you're returning back to the planet you started on, and then the next mission, you're going back to the planet that you were just at. Oh, it's new areas on that planet. It's sort of like a bit Metroidvania. Again, another thing it's copying, um, or another sort of game system, I guess, it's copying, or it's been copied so much now. Um, it's like you go back to places you've already been with new force powers that now means you can access areas that you couldn't access before but it's still repetitive it's still going back to a, a place you've already been an environment you've already been to instead of somewhere new and again with the resources a star wars game gets and the team you know the sheer amount of people working on a star wars game there's no excuse to be repeating this shit you can you know design new environments no excuse with a game this is the kind of thing you'd expect at a game on a much smaller budget you could forgive them repeating areas but not a game with a star wars size budget so that was poor in my opinion and the maps themselves they're so obviously like game maps all the platforming you've got to do and you'll let you do a load of wall running and platforming you'll get to a spot and there'll be like a, like a group of stormtroopers there and it'll be like well, how did they get there? Did they have to do all this wall running and everything as well? Because there's no other way they could have got there. Uh, so that in itself, just the way the maps are just so obviously game design maps, it might as well be Sonic. Yeah, it's, a got, it's about as immersive as playing Sonic or Mario, something like that. There's, there's zero immersion to it. Um, and the story itself is just it's pure guff and nonsense, but you know that's star wars these days isn't it i mean maybe it was star wars it always was but um the story yeah uh, guff and nonsense makes no sense um so in conclusion i'd say this you know this is derivative copycat exploration parkour and puzzle solving it's um deeply unsatisfying combat and for me it just goes on the pile of uh the big pile of just another shitty star wars game to be honest nothing nothing original about it at all uh, so i wouldn't recommend it what i'd really like to see is is ea get stripped of the star wars license or at least if they want a melee action game a star wars melee action game I think they should give it to one of the Japanese developers. Give it to the team at Capcom that made Devil May Cry 5. I think that would get you a, a really good Star Wars melee action game. Star Wars, you know, using all different force powers, all different types of lightsabers and stuff, and just carving your way through swathes of stormtroopers and other sort of enemies. That's the kind of melee action game Star Wars I'd like to see. And the first person shooter Star Wars, well hell, give it to id Software. Let them design a, a Star Wars first person shooter, but EA have, EA have just done nothing with this Star Wars license. They've got it wrong pretty much every single time. And this is just another one of those times. So that was uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Thanks for watching.